Hello and welcome to my gals game. I am Imogen Southgate and today I'm going to be interviewing Kate, who is an advisory teacher that works for West Sussex, so enjoys doing sports and activities in her spare time. Hope you enjoy my TV interview. In today's interview, we are going to be talking about netball. Um, have you ever played netball before? I have played netball when I was young and I've taught netball. What age group did you teach? I taught primary age, so year three to year six. Um, I taught them netball and we did netball tournaments. Oh, that's quite good. So you you know um, the rules and everything of how, what are the rules of netball? I do. Although when we played netball at primary, we played high five rules, which were different to how you play it at secondary. High five rules. Could you could you explain that? <laughs> yeah. So high five rules. You you only have five players instead of seven. Okay. Uh, so you don't have the wing attacker and wing defence. You just have um, yeah goal attack, goalkeeper, goal defence, goal shooter and centre and centre. Um, yeah. And then every quarter you rotate round. So you play centre for one quarter. You might then be a goal shooter for the next quarter. Then you might be goal defence for the next quarter. Um, and you might go back to centre. So you and you also have a timekeeper and a scorer. So you might then the the extra two players to make it up to seven would be off the court doing scoring um, or timekeeping. Um, when when you played netball, what a uh, place would you ra- would like prefer playing? I tended to play goal defence. Oh, I did the same. I preferred to do goalkeeper because I thought I could jump quite high and I wasn't very good at shooting. <laughs> so, I think that was mine. I wasn't that good a shooter. Uh, you said that you um, did tournaments. Was that just uh, over the summer or did you also do that in the winter? Did no, that, that was into school tournaments. So when I was teaching, they um, we took part in, it was Feltham and Bogner netball tournaments. Did you win any of them? <laughs> we yeah, we did win one year and second, I think, on another. Um, when you played, did you do any tournaments at all? Not that I can remember. I t- tended to play hockey as well, so I used to be in the hockey team rather than the netball team. And uh, you're outside a lot, but considering of what happens this this year, rules have changed so much. But it's quite nice that they're able to do with the outside facilities how do you think that's uh, impacted how netballers have play it's good that uh, i'm not sure if they can still play at the moment but it's good that outside sport in general could carry on because sport and mental well-being obviously yeah. we know the links and it's good to be outside and being active you um talked about health and well-being how does netball playing netball affect your health and well-being Netball's a very fast game, so yeah. your heart rate is constantly up. You are on the move the whole time. Um, so physical health, it's really good. Um, mental health, you know, you're outside playing, being yeah. part of a team, enjoying, which is all good for the mental health. Yeah, um, it is good for you know, the physical aspect. It's a, it is very fast paced, and it is a very good sociable. Um, game and it does require, yeah, it does require teamwork. And uh, um, the local leisure centre will probably provide your own equipment, but you can probably have your own ball at home. I have a netball post at home that I used to practice with. Um, so and it doesn't really require that much equipment, you just need the players for it, (laughs) yeah, players and the ball and the net. And in that. <laughs> um, that is all for my TV interview. Um, my next one will be in a, no- a month's time and we're going to be talking about swimming. Um, if you want, you can listen to my Gals Game radio podcast. I do interviews and talks on there every single week and you can look at that on my Gals Game um, sports hub. Thank you very much for watching my TV interview. If you want to look any more, just go onto my website and have a lovely rest of your day. Goodbye.